Today I'm gonna to be showing you what comes in the Electric Wheel 6 box. This is not the final box. I'm, uh, the final one will look a little bit different, but uh, this video is there to sort of show you the progress of where I'm at. Uh, all of the parts inside of the box are pretty much final now, so that's really good. And uh, we're starting to get really close to assembly. I'll have a little bit more about the manufacturing side of things in the Kickstarter update that's going to uh, come out with this video. So this video is focusing just on sort of what's in the box and giving people an idea of how that's going to work. So inside the box we've got this package. This has got the instructions and a bunch of parts. I'll talk about those in a little bit. We've got the Lazy Kates here. This one has got a foot switch in it. Then we've got two packages of bobbins. So each package of bobbins has three bobbins in it, uh, one of each color. And uh, I'll go through all of these parts in a little bit more detail in a bit. Uh, this is the flyer. Here's the main base of the uh, electric e wheel 6. It's all assembled. This is how it'll be coming. And the last two parts in the box are just the power supply and then a cord for the power supply. And this is separate because I have a few different versions of the cord depending on which country is being shipped to. So that's pretty much it. Let's sort of go into a little bit more detail on some of the different packages. So uh, this is the instructions and parts for it. So let's just see what's included in this one. So we've got an orifice reducer here. That just will plug into the flyer like that. We've got the instruction booklet. Um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So. This has got um, a pretty good instructions. The artwork is great. I'm really happy how clear everything turned out. Obviously, I'll be doing a video as well. I think most people learn better with the video, so this will be more of a quick reference for most people, but if you, if you don't have online access or you just prefer the written version, that's gonna be included. Um, I'll probably, I'm, gonna, I'm seeing if I can get um, this translated into a few different languages. Uh, there's been some volunteers that, that I need to contact and see if they're willing to do that translation. And if they are, I'll print a few extra ones and whenever I'm shipping to an international uh, country, I can include the uh, instructions in that language. So in this part pack, there's also two um, drive belts. So there'll be one for it right away and a spare if you need it. There's three of these bearings. So one of them is needed for the flyer and then there's two extra. Uh, in case you lose them, or these could be used uh, with a 3D printed bobbin if you want to make your own bobbins or something. So uh, there's two orifice hooks. Again, you really only need one, and it goes on the case just like that on the magnets. So um, I'm mean, shipping them in the bag because sometimes they got lost on the Nano, so uh, that's why I'm putting everything in the parts pack instead of doing as much assembly as we, or shipping it as assembled as the Nano. The Nano you basically took out of the box and it ran, but this one, there's gonna be a little assembly. I sh I'll, I'll show you how that works. It's really simple. It just takes me a minute or two. But um, first I wanna finish going through the parts. There's this little hex wrench. This is used for um, removing and uh, tightening the motor pulley. I don't think most people will need it, but I included it just in case. Uh, we've got a bunch of these O-rings. These are what hold these sliding hooks in place. So um, if those wear out, you'll have a bunch of extras. There's an extra spring. Um, this is for the, the uh, tension uh, system. So it ships with a little bit stiffer spring, and this is going to be a little bit... Um, less stiff spring, a little, um, it'll stretch a little easier. And then if you're, you know, going really fine yarns, 
you, or really thicker yarns, you might find one of these springs works better. So I'll just ship both of them with it. It'll come with a little bit stiffer one installed. There's a few cards in here. There's a, this, this card, which is sort of meant for sharing with your friends. And then this is a spin card, I call it. And it's kind of got a way of measuring the gauge of your yarn and also the twist angle. I've talked about that in the past for um, previous versions of the electric eel wheel. People really love this card, so I'm gonna include it again. And I think that's, oh, there's, this is the, I think I call it the bobbin uh, tension dial. Uh, so this, after you put the bobbin on, you can screw this into the end of the flyer and kind of control um, a different, or the amount of sort of squish on the bobbin. I don't, all my beta testers say they don't really use this. Uh, it actually can cause some problems if you set it up wrong. I'll probably talk about it in a separate video, but right now for most people, I, I don't recommend using this. Uh, at least don't start with it. I think that's it for the parts bag. So let's show one of the bobbins. So in a bobbin bag, there'll be one bobbin of each color. I'm just picking out one of the white bobbins. And there's also six bearings in there. So I'll just take two of the bearings and I just put the bearings in the end of the discs like this. You just screw them together like this. And now you've got an assembled bobbin. The bobbin, you take the, the end with a little pulley here. So one, one side's flat, completely flat. The other one has a little pulley section. You want the pulley section facing outward. That just slides on like that. Then you take one of the extra bearings from the parts pack, you put that on the end. You take one of the drive belts and you just sort of set it like that. We'll get to that in a little bit. You want to make sure the tension cord is on the outside and then you just slot it in. So I'll have better instructions for all of this. Um, coming out with the electric heel wheel, so don't worry about um, how all of this works. It's explained in the manual, but um, I think the video, a video I'll release on sort of getting started will make the, all of this simpler, but I'm just sort of showing you how quick together, how quickly this thing goes together. Um, so there, it's pretty much assembled at this point. You've got the foot switch which will just plug in here. And this doesn't come with it. This is just one of the battery packs. So if you do purchase one of the battery packs separately, um, I don't sell them again. I just, you can purchase them on uh, online in different places and things. That'll go sort of in this bottom portion, just like that. And you plug it in and then we're good to spin. So I think that covers everything except for the lazy case. So we'll set this aside and just, just to go through everything that's included, I wanted to show you what's with these lazy cates. What comes with the lazy cates? So there'll be three of them in here and all three bases can click together like this. Um, then you'll have um, these little rods and the bobbin will just slide on to the rod like this. Okay, so the way this lazy kit works is you just slide the bobbin onto it. Um, it they do come with these little O-rings. So if you have problems with the bobbins popping off, you can put that on and now it can't fly off. There's also these little elastic straps and you can put those in these slots. And if you do that, then it adds a little tension um, so you can loosen it or tighten it however much you want. So this a little elastic cord applies a break so that the bobbins don't 
spin as freely. Uh, I realized I forgot to mention the yarn spike in the video, so basically what that is, is that's this piece. So this you would shove a ball of yarn onto the yarn spike, and then you can put the yarn spike on here, and it holds it in place while you're knitting from the ball of yarn. It's actually a pretty nice feature. A lot of my beta testers loved it, so I'm including these yarn spikes with every one of my Lazy Kates. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If people have any questions, let me know, but um, like I said, this is just a quick video to sort of show you what's included. I'll be doing a much better video about getting started with your electric EO Wheel 6 later when we're closer to shipping them. Thanks for watching.